Uh, the 50s also was a time that uh, in terms of the way we build, in terms of the way that we dress, in terms of the materials that were accessible, um, the regional boundaries of um, the South and certainly of Southern architecture broke down uh, considerably. Uh, the post-war period uh, for the South in general, architecturally, uh, is a time when um, the invisible parts of our new technologies, uh, particularly in terms of conditioning of spaces, uh, more um, up-to-date ways of dealing with um, insulation, and the international style's commitment that building ought to be universal, not place-bound, uh, really began to make architecture in the South look a lot like architecture elsewhere. I know that uh, you know, scholars of the New South will make that argument about the 1920s uh, as well. Uh, arguments of that nature were made when the first uh, high-rises started uh, appearing in southern cities, but I think this is even more potent uh, an historical trope for the post-war period and the 1950s. Arkansas architecture is an American architecture uh, very fully. And even when we look at works like the work of Faye Jones uh, um, that has been characterized as expressing an Ozark modern style or a regional variation on modernism, there are still very clear ideas about space about materials, uh, about expression, simplicity, absence of superfluous ornament that are embedded in the tenets of modernism. So I think we, we do see um, Arkansas architecture being part of something larger, adopting, adapting, tempering ideas that are seminal to the spirit of the age of the post-war period.